Yo, 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 what up? It's Fish Tank, and we back with another reaction. And today we're going to be checking out another one from Old 60, and this one is called Rose, and it's off of their new uh, EP, Songs About You. And uh, from what I've gathered just from the comments and the messages is that this is everybody's... Uh, this is everybody's favorite one so far, so um, I don't know. That's just what people are saying, and uh, yeah, we're here to check it out. Y'all know what it is. If you're enjoying my content, please hit that like button. Please hit that subs subscribe button, and let's go. This is Rose by Old 60. Oh, they just start right in. I like that instrumental. Damn. All right, hold on. Before they start singing, I just, I just love how a lot of this new like country type of music has has got a lot more rock element to it. Like, this is just a straight up sound, a rock sounding song. If you just took out that little steel that was in there. I mean, it would just sound like a typical rock song. Uh, distortion power chords. But then you got that little slide in there, that, that little steel that kind of gives it that country uh, flavor. And then I imagine by the way that he starts singing, it's going to it's gonna sound more like a, a country type of song. But I just love how there's so much rock element into these new country songs. Come on, let's go. Okay, I, I wanted to pause at a few different times, but I had to just keep going. I had to keep going. I like when he was doing those, like, it, it was like either five or six syllables. The way he was chopping all those lines up, man, that was freaking awesome. Um, I'm still kind of trying to grasp uh, what they're talking about here. Um, but anyways, I, I was just so into the music right there and the way that he was singing, it was just a whole nother style of, of vocal, uh, singing that we haven't really heard from him yet. You know, a lot of people say, you know, like the, the smoke and the light was like cage the elephant. I mean, I could kind of see the similarities, but I, I thought it was a whole different vibe, but I'm just saying in every single song, he has a different kind of flow and a different kind of cadence and a, a, a different kind of like harmony. Um, hold on. Uh, or, 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 uh, melody. Um, I'm just going to back it up. I know this might be turn into a long reaction. I'm sorry, but I just want to kind of grasp what he's saying now that I've got all the musical interpretation now out, out of the way. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm interpreting this uh, kind of a couple different ways, man. It could be like a long relationship that is, um, you know, slowly going south or whatever. Um, and just the the love isn't there anymore. Um, the, their bodies are just kind of like objects to each other. Um, or it could also, I'm also going into a way that like... Uh, 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 <laughs> Right there when she says, uh, where did it say that? She's tired of waiting for someone who ain't there. I definitely feel like the, 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 the person she's talking about is like a, is a, is a relationship, but he's no longer there. Like mentally, you know, he's just kind of checked out, but also, I don't know. I'm kind of getting some mixed vibes of what, the, where we could be going with this one. Well, let me see. Oh, and I'm alive. Because it sounds like he's the one that's upset about it. Like, I'm alone again. Like, she's not there. But maybe he, she's saying he's not there. I don't know. Maybe both of them are just not there mutually. Hold on. For somebody she don't know and Ooh, I love that. He picks up the rose and he blows all the petals off the stem. And as they hit the ground, uh, 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 the hollow sound of it's the hollow sound of love's last goodbye. They're yeah, they're on their way out. Damn, bro, this is tough. Okay, wow. At first, when I heard she's taking off her clothes for someone she don't know, I was thinking like maybe it was like. You know, maybe she's like some kind of escort or something like that. But then it was like, nah, it's, that's not it. I had to go back and just kind of reread. I have the lyrics in front of me, so I had to kind of just reread the lyrics. The music, the music originally just took over my mind. I, I, I wasn't thinking straight there on the lyrics because the music was just like, oh, I could, I couldn't stop. I was just, I was so entertained by the way he was singing and the way that the music was. This is, dude, this is beautiful. Come on. This is a rock band, bro. Come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sing it, baby. Sing it with the guitar. Now she's taking off the clothes for somebody. She don't know when I'm alone again. And then that right there too could be, you know, maybe she's seeing somebody else and uh, she's taking off her clothes for someone she don't know and I'm alone again. But I have a feeling it's just like, hey, this is like their last goodbye, their last hurrah, whatever. She's taking off her clothes for someone she don't know, which is me. And I just feel alone because she doesn't she doesn't know me anymore and I don't know her. Damn, come on. She spots single rose, picks it up and blows the petals off the stage. Okay, so the first time the first time he picked up the rose and, and blew the petals off. This time she's picking up the rose and blowing the petals off. Last 
last time when the pedals hit the ground, it was the hollow sound of love's last goodbye. Now this time when they hit the ground, he looks around and doesn't see her no more. She's gone. They're done. Oh, that's tough. Side from when I told her those three words, and I'm guessing that's I love you. Oh man, that song was tough, bro. The lyrics were just so good. Those lyrics were so good. The music to me was just everything that I've been wanting out of music for so long. Like that just reminded me so much of 90s rock right there. You had a you had an opening guitar solo, you had a mid guitar solo, you had ending guitar work. And it, dude, to me, it just reminded me of an old 90s rock song, straight up. And then, but also the structure of the song musically kind of had like a, a cold play type feeling to it as well. Either way, the song was amazing. It was awesome. Let me know what y'all thought about it below. And, uh, man. This one's gonna this one's gonna sting some people. There's gonna be people going through this exact scenario right now all over the world that are gonna be relating to this song. And that's when you know you've written a good song, man. So again, like I said, let me know what y'all thought in the comments below and you know what it is. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.